एक चीज फिर से इम्फोसिस करते हैं हम लोग कि जो ऑटिज्म है और दिस लर्निंग डिसेबिलिटीज है दे आर नॉट जस्ट अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द ब्रेन ओके देर आर मल्टीपल फैक्टर्स दैट इन्वॉल्व इन टू इट ओके इट्स अ बॉडीली डिसऑर्डर वो पूरा बॉडी का प्रॉब्लम है बहुत सारे फंक्शन एब नॉर्मल है जिसके कारण ब्रेन इम्पैक्टेड है जिसके कारण सिम्टम्स है नाउ वी हैव टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम Why this is happening? We have to understand. Now, if we understand that part, we can solve the problem. Now, just in this picture, in this image, you can understand there are multiple. One is dysbiosis, GI dysbiosis. GI dysbiosis means, अपने stomach के अंदर बहुत सारे अच्छे bacteria हैं, खराब भी हैं. जब खराब का bacteria, the poor bacteria grows, overgrows, and the good bacteria is less. This is called dysbiosis. All right. Now, gut bacteria does a lot of function for us. अच्छा चीज भी बहुत करता है डाइजेशन में हेल्प करता है डिटॉक्सिफिकेशन में हेल्प हेल्प करता है इट प्रोड्यूस लॉट ऑफ गुड स्टफ फॉर अस अगर अपने स्टमक में अच्छा बैक्टीरिया नहीं है अपना टॉक्सिन लोड डिटॉक्सिफिकेशन कैपेबिलिटीज कैन गो रॉन्ग आर नरिश एज अ कॉन्सिक्वेंस दे कैन बी इन्फ्लोमेशन दर इन्फ्लोमेशन कैन कॉज नीरो इन्फ्लोमेशन एंड नीरो टॉक्सिसिटी दिस इज वेयर द प्रॉब्लम स्टार्ट राइट Now, अगर अपने बच्चों में कुछ ऐसा खाया जा रहा है जिससे इन्फ्लमेशन है एलर्जीज है दैट इन्फ्लमेशन अगेन इन टर्म्स कॉज नीरो इन्फ्लमेशन इन्फ्लमेशन इन द ब्रेन हैज अ कॉन्सिक्वेंस दीज सिम्टम्स लर्निंग डिसेबिलिटीज ऑटिज्म ए एस डी ओ सी डी ए डी एच डी ऑल दैट नेक्स्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज माइट्रोकॉन्ट्रिया फंक्शन नाउ एक सेल ईच सेल ऑफ आर्स हैज अबाउट फाइव हंड्रेड टू फाइव थाउजेंड माइट्रोकॉन्ट्रिया now depending on the brain cells and heart cells has more mitochondria muscle cells will have more mitochondria and some of the cells will have less depending on the the function they do now if our energy production mechanism which is mitochondria is dysfunctional where is reason for, for the problem maybe in the next sessions we'll cover that part also but agar apna mitochondria acha kaam nahi kar raha hai then also our abilities to function is uh, compromised leading to neuroinflammation leading to neurotoxicity leading to autism or all this uh, disabilities right now if you fix the digestive system inflammation toxin overload and improve the mitochondria health as a consequence inflammation will come down as a consequence so symptoms will improve so it's not just a symptomatic treatment it's all about treating the root cause as a consequence autism or asd or uh, other uh, disabilities can be solved so hope you know it's a you know when we when we say that this problem can be solved and most of time the uh, parents are told no nothing can be done now you can connect the dots right you know these are reason of the problem and when you solve the reason of the problem you can solve the problem so today our topic is mainly focusing on gastro uh, gastrointestinal issues and uh, you know uh, how it is troubling our uh, kids having this uh, autism or asd and all that now it is well documented most of the kids might have uh, you know these kids might be uh, allergic to gluten they might be you know allergic or sensitive to lactose because of the lactose deficiency they might have abdominal pain they might have distension bloating in the stomach after they eat food their stomach will bloat up or they have a limited poor appetite or they might have sensitivities of the food now sensitive sometimes you know uh, there something or allergic reaction wherein you know you eat something your your you know tongue might swallow up uh, your your lips might be swollen this is clear allergy sometimes sensitivities means we make auto antibodies we make we, it can cause inflammation but it's not actually visible uh, onto the physical body right so these food sensitivities also can kind of play a role in increasing the inflammation inflammation bad jayega jiske karan inflammation in the brain as a consequence problem we also see sometimes you know uh, these kids might have mal absorption or uh, mal digestion of the food jo khaya wo pacha nahi ab khaya piya pacha nahi to body ko lagega nahi you don't make the food as a part of you when you don't digest the food right so their stools there when when they you know pass the stools they might be sticky that might be floating on the water that might be foul smelling you might see that uh, uh, their stool have some uh, undigested foods right and these these might uh, these kids might have diarrhea constipation and of course you know sometimes 
uh, you know uh, condition uh, concomitant conditions like ibs or uh, ibd ye bhi ho sakta hai and generally if we run some test of course these are physical symptoms but if we run some test we can find they might have dysbiosis of course on a microbiome test or if we do certain uh, hydrogen test and all that we might find that they have sibo they might also have hypo hypochlorohydra which means stomach is producing less stomach acid less hydrochloric acid to digest the food or they might have a poor enzyme production now this is all you know uh, एक चीज होता है दूसरा चीज जुड़ जाता है उसके साथ फिर तीसरा जुड़ जाता है नाउ अगर न्यूट्रिशनल डेफिशिएंसी है खाने में अच्छा प्रोटीन नहीं है देन वी डोंट मेक इनफ ऑफ स्टमक एसिड व्हेन वी डोंट मेक इनफ ऑफ स्टमक एसिड दिस इज वेयर डाइजेशन बिकम्स फर्दर लोअर सो एक चीज से दूसरा चीज भी हो जाता है सो वी हैव टू बी केयरफुल एंड यू नो वी हैव टू सॉल्व दैट प्रॉब्लम